Hi everyone, in today's video we're excited to walk you through the Google Calendar integration for Traft. This feature allows you to sync your Traft appointments with your Google Calendar, keeping all your events in one place. We'll show you how to set it up and highlight the benefits of having your scheduling streamlined with Google Calendar. Let's get started. When you log into Traft, you need to access features and integrations and the first thing that you will see is Google Calendar and Google Meet. What you need to do is click on Enable, wait for it to load and then click on Setup. Now Google Calendar is enabled and you have two options to connect Google Calendar with your Traft account and with your employees. The first option is to allow your employees to log in which is done in settings users and roles and here's the employee now we click on these three dots click on enable login and either auto generate a password or create one manually and send the login information to the user we will enable this so now the employee can log in to Traft. once they log in they need to click here then account settings integrations Google Calendar as you can see Google Calendar is in here and you're able to connect your account this is a good way to connect your account with Traft because it allows you to block Google events from multiple calendars while you can only sync with one so this is one of my test accounts and I have quite a few uh, calendars within that account. Now if I want to block time from calendars I can select multiple accounts so I select the main one, I select the uh, test calendar, I select the iCal which is just the name it's not the actual Apple calendar and I can do this for up to six calendars and then this option becomes blocked so what I need to do as an employee is if I want if this is my business calendar and this is my personal calendar I would like Traft to block busy events from both of those calendars so my customers cannot book with me during busy Google Calendar events I can also as an employee choose to insert pending appointments and to include any buffer time the trap may have in Google events this would mean if an appointment starts at 12 and the service has 15 minutes of buffer time and it lasts for 45 minutes then it means that the event created in Google will last from 12 until 1 because even though the service has a duration of 45 minutes it has 15 minutes of buffer time which extends the duration of the actual appointment below is the event title and the event description which Traft will use to create an event in your Google Calendar so this is just service name we can add service name with customer full name and then in the event description we can add a, a point well service name appointment with customer full name and employees full name on appointment start date and time once we click save this employee now has been connected to his own Google Calendar once we go back into Google Calendar click on setup this is how your employees are able to link multiple calendars that will be blocked in Traft. Another way to do it is, let me first disable this, so if I disconnect my account and I'm an admin. As an admin we have configured calendars in our Google account here for multiple people let's say all these calendars are multiple employees of my company so when I come here I click on connect account and again I link the same account 
I allow Traft to access these services. And once they do that, it comes back with the list of employees in here. So again, you can still allow your employees to log in and connect their account through account settings, integrations, Google Calendar. If we do that again and we link, uh, if we link this account, we need to select the, the calendars from which Google events will be blocked and we click on save. Now, if we go back, we will see that this employee has overridden the calendar. So when you see overridden by employee, it only means that your employees logged in and connected their own Google Calendar. You, as an admin, can click on these three dots and disconnect the employee if you want to override that. Once you do it, once you disconnect the employee as an admin, you can choose which calendar they will be linked to. And now when you save the settings, you, act, you allow your employees to access, they will not be able to change this because you're currently connected to Google Calendar by admin. Overriding Google Calendar connection is not available. So employees cannot override the connection if you connected them as administrators. However, once you do this, they won't be able to block events from multiple calendars. So this test calendar is going to be the only calendar that's going to store Traft's appointments and block events from Google in Traft. You can link another or the same calendar to a different employee as, of course, an admin. Um, these options here, this and this is the same as you saw in account settings. Uh, allow customers to see other attendees. This works for group appointments when you create an appointment for multiple people they will be able to see other customers in the group appointment remove google calendar busy slots is what's actually necessary for draft to remove busy events coming from google so if i create an event for tomorrow and i say lunch and it's not all day but it goes from let's say 1 p.m. until 2 p.m. it needs to be set as busy so now when I click on save we have lunch on the 27th of September so if I try to book an appointment just one second I didn't enable this so remove Google Calendar busy slots link the account I created the event for and now when I try to book an appointment for tomorrow at one, I won't be able to. So let's say documentation one, select date, September 27th, to 1 a.m. to 2 p.m. is blocked. Now, if this event is deleted, once I refresh the page and start creating a new appointment, I will see the, av the availability for 1 p.m. on the 27th of September and here it is. Back to options for Google Calendar. Um, Google Meet integration is required uh, if you want to provide your appointments via Google Meet. Add events attendees. So this needs to be enabled if you want your customers to be added to uh, to the event that's created by Traft. And send invitation email sends out an ICS file which people can accept and add to their own calendars so they don't miss the appointment. Now, I've shown you how appointments, how events created in Google Calendar block times in Traft, but let me show you how it works when a Traft appointment is created for this employee. So let's book the same uh, time slot at 1 p.m. And let's use jo uh, Joan Doe as uh, a customer. And it goes through Google Meet. Now when I click Save, the appointment is added to Traft's calendar right here. 
And when I go back into my Google Calendar, I can see the mentoring session right here. It currently shows like this, so it's only the mentoring session because we didn't configure anything in in here. So it's just the service name. Now we can add with customer full name and we can add the um, appointment notes. So let's see. Start date and time at location name address and save the changes so now we can update you can actually update these uh, when you click on edit and click on save Traft sends out um, a call to Google Calendar and now you can see mentoring session with Joan Doe here's when at online meeting Google Meet. Um, so what's also important to note is that appointments created before you enabled Google Calendar will not be transferred automatically. So let's quickly disable this, keep the working hours, and create an appointment for, I don't know, let's say online mentoring session with documentation one, which is my name, on the 30th at 1 p.m. with again Joan Doe. So now we save this and here it is September 30th. It doesn't appear here. So now we go back, we enable Google Calendar and Google Meet, we check if everything is still connected. It is. And again, back in here, it doesn't show up. So it doesn't work retroactively. If you want past appointments to appear in your Google Calendar, you need to quickly edit this appointment and simply click on save. So Trav sends out a call to Google and it's now added here under online mentoring session with Joan Doe. We didn't have um, Google Calendar enabled, so automatically Google Meet wasn't enabled. So September 30th, 1 p.m. at is missing the location info right here because we don't have a location configured. What's also important to know that you as an administrator can allow yourself and your admins to book over existing appointments. So allow users to book appointments outside of working hours enabled. Allow users to book over an existing appointment. If we enable these and we go back into Google Calendar. So now we have, let's create a, a simple uh, lunch event again. So it's from two this time to 3 p.m. and it's set to busy. So when we save it, um, your customers will not be able to book this appointment. So 2 p.m. is not gonna be available. Now if we go here and choose uh, documentation one on the 27th, you can see that there is no available time slot between one and 3 p.m. If we go back, once we've configured the super admin role to override appointments, you are able to create a mentoring session with this employee on not only on the 27th, but also on Saturdays and Sundays from midnight to midnight. And you can see that this is already booked. So if you want to override that, creating an overbooking, you can do it. Now click on save and the appointment track warns you that the appointment will be in the already busy time slot which is not in here but it's pulling it from google calendar so now we click on confirm and we have a 2 p.m appointment with joan doe if we go into the calendar we can see google events pulled from the linked google accounts in here so this when we switch to day view and go to September 27th, we can see that there is lunch from two to three and there is mentoring session from two to four. And of course, this mentoring session, which is overriding, uh, overbooking uh, these two time slots. You can also configure the employee. Here we go. Online meeting, Google Meet, save changes, and that's it. So now all appointments created with this employee will be going to Google Meet. That's pretty much it for Google Calendar integration. 
We hope this feature helps you keep your appointments organized and in sync. If you have any questions or if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And while you're there, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to be notified about all upcoming videos coming from Traft. Until next time, take care guys.